Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. K and I'm gonna to talk to you a little more today about subtraction and solving uh, word problems. So last week we talked about how we were just gonna use pictures to solve our problems and this week we're gonna use a picture but then I'm gonna show you how to write a number sentence to go along with it. So my question today says, a squirrel and a chipmunk were both gathering acorns for the winter. The squirrel found 12 acorns and hid them in her burrow. The chipmunk came along and took seven of them. How many acorns does a little squirrel have left? So automatically I know it's subtraction because when someone takes something from you, you have less of it, not more. In subtraction, your answer is always less. When we add, we get more. So I know that something's being taken away. So it's subtraction. So first I'm gonna use a picture to solve it. So it says the squirrel found 12 acorns and hid them in her burrow. So I'm gonna cheat a little, I have little pictures I'm gonna use, but you would just draw these. So 12 acorns, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I know that six plus six is, six is 12, so I'm just gonna double that. All right, so now I have 12 acorns. The chipmunk came along and took seven of them. And we talked about, we don't wanna take the seven off the picture because then I don't, when I look at it, I don't know what happened to them. So I'm gonna cross them out. So I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna cross out the seven that the chipmunk took. So I'm gonna do a full row because I know that was six that I had put on there. And then the one extra on the second row. So seven acorns that the chipmunk took. How many acorns does a little squirrel have left? Well, I know that these are the ones that are left over. One, two, three, four, five. The little squirrel has five acorns left. Now I need to record that as a number sentence. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the biggest number. How many did I start with? The squirrel started with 12 acorns. I'm gonna show a subtraction sign to show that some of them were taken away, seven of them. So 12 subtract seven equals, how many does she have left? Five. So 12 subtract seven equals five. I want you to go ahead and try using a picture and now using a number sentence to solve the word problems that I've included for this week.